Welcome back to Smooth. Thanks for joining me for this meditative movement session. This is really fun for me. This video was taken in 2019 on a beach in Malibu. And this was right around the time where I started to explore Qigong, restorative movement, energetic movement, meditative movement, whatever you want to call it. So I invite you to join me in this movement. Stand up. Enjoy the sweet, sweet sounds of the waves lap it against the beach. Enjoy this beautiful sunrise. We'll start this session off by waking up the face with some self-massage. Massage the jaw bones, the cheeks, your forehead, anywhere that seems to be carrying some unnecessary tension, relaxing into that face. Now that you have a little bit more awareness in the face, Feel free to shake it out here. Take a few nice deep breaths. Let out that breath. Shake it all out. Let's take it into the chi twist next. Twisting and tapping your hands, your fists at the lower back and the front of the pelvis allowing integration through the entire body. So ground through those feet, feel the rotation through those ankles, knees, up through the hips and the pelvis, continuing that rotation up through the heart. And ideally, keeping the eyes on the horizon, continuing to open up through the throat and continue to feel a nice extension through the body. If you're feeling the flow, you can start to swing those arms in different ways, bending through the elbow, maybe slapping different parts of the abdomen or your chest, starting to work that slap in the back up a little bit higher and continue to do what feels good in your body. Again, integrating through the entire body, grounding through those feet, feeling the rotation all the way up through the heart in the neck and the throat. Now set up with the feet, shoulder width apart, and we're gonna take it into grounding and ascending. So ground with a little squat through the feet, and then reach the arms up above the head on the inhale, as you exhale, bringing those hands down the front of the body and sinking into a tiny little squat. Focus on staying rooted in the main limb of the body. So anchoring through the pelvis, having a nice open heart, and then the eyes up on the horizon. As you go through the reaching of the arms, and then the arms down, we are continuing to reach and pull into the center of the body. Envision that the hands, the arms are an extension of your heart. So stretch through that center of the heart. Take your time, ground into your center and allow your breath to continue to harmonize with your movement. Ground into your center and just give it a little wiggle bounce around, we're gonna take it into the arm swing. So swinging the arms up on the inhale and then swinging the arms down and back behind you on the exhale. Feel free to get a little bit more bounce through the body than I am in this video. I find this promotes a little bit more relaxation and integration through the body with this movement. And you can also start to incorporate some head movement. So either some head nods or looking over each shoulder for a few swings. 
Continue to anchor down through the pelvis by grounding through the feet and allow a little bit more intensity to come with this movement. So you've been doing it for a while, a lot more blood flow, awareness, whatever intensity means to you at this point. Maybe it's ramping up the tempo. Maybe it's expanding the range of the movement. Maybe it's just an overall feeling of intensity in your body. Shake it out and we'll take it into a high march next. So we're gonna drive one knee up, flexing at the hip and then firmly driving down through the ground with that balanced leg. Find a nice tempo, feeling into rhythm. You can move around your space. Continue to keep that nice open heart and eyes on the horizon. Now we're gonna rotate a little bit more through the body and one of my favorite ways to do this is reach through the opposite arm of the knee that's driving up and starting to reach that across the body to facilitate a little bit more movement. You can also drive or reach the other arm back behind you. So you're rotating towards the flexing hip or the flexing knee. As you start to feel more connection in the body with any of these movements, I invite you to feel into that place of intensity. Whatever that means to you in this moment, you feel the energy, ride that wave, allow it to travel, allow it to be creative for you. Now we're gonna take it into a trip kick, or you could view this as a soccer kick as well. So what we're gonna do is drive back through one elbow and then externally rotate that same side leg as we kick it forward. And this is gonna require some balance and rotation through that planted leg. So find a nice flow, might be a little funky when you first get started with it, but do your best. These can be really small kicks, gentle kicks to begin with. And as you start to feel the rotation through the body, you can start to add a little bit more oomph a little bit more intensity. The other thing I wanna say about that intensity that I've been talking about, we wanna be able to relax into it. Sure, it takes effort, but you don't have to force it. Focus on the necessary amount of effort to do the movement. Now, as the sun continues to rise, we're gonna take it into the chi squat. Start the movement by pressing the hands forward and sinking into a squat on the exhale. And then on the inhale, pulling the hands back towards you as you stand tall. You don't need to sink super low into the squat. Simply do what feels good for you in this moment. And we're gonna be sticking with this flow for quite some time. So one, Take your time, no need to rush it. And then two, as you start to get fatigued, look at that fatigue as connection through the body. Don't run away from that sensation. Feel it, embrace it, use it to connect with this movement, connect with the rhythm, connect with your body, and lastly, connecting with your external environment. So, Right here, I'm connecting with that sand on my feet. I am taking in the surroundings. And with that, you might see some different creative progressions with what you're doing. So if you look at me here, I'm doing some sort of swimming motion through my hands. Maybe that's a sign that I wanna go swimming after my meditative movement session here. Will I? You're gonna to have to stick around and find out. If you're feeling the flow, continue with it. If you wanna sink down into a deep squat, 
and open up the hips. Feel into the groundedness through your feet and the length through the spine. The weight shifting, the exploration in this position, that's available too. Now we're on the beach, or at least I am, so it's the perfect time to bust out, throw in the frisbee. Root down through the pelvis and the feet and take it into some imaginary frisbee tosses, bringing the arm across the body and extending it out to one side, following with rotation through the body. Alternating sides at your own tempo and either inhaling on the toss or exhaling on the toss. Because you're not actually holding a frisbee and there's no expectation on where this frisbee might go, really allow the movement, allow the flow to guide that toss each time. Might be different every time. Might be in multiple directions or reaching further. Whatever feels good in this moment, embrace it. Next, we're gonna take it into two full moons. So, you're gonna shift your weight over to the right side, bring the arms up, and create two big circles with your arms. Shift over to the left side, do the same thing. We'll inhale as you reach up, and exhale as those arms come down and you pass through center. Now we're gonna come back to the frisbee toss and add another beach activity with petting the dog. So throw the frisbee with that lead hand and then that trail hand, palm facing the ground, pet the dog. You can see I'm a little bit more grounded and calm in this movement and that's really up to you what you wanna do with it. That just felt right in this moment. Sometimes we wanna feel open and expressive and then other times we want to ground into our center, feel a lot of that movement internally. It's all part of the practice and I invite you to feel into all the different variations of it, especially as this sun starts to peak up on the horizon. Now we're gonna take the frisbee toss into a teacup. So the main objective with this is imagining that we're balancing a teacup on our hand. So as you throw the frisbee, bring the arm over the head, out in front, and wrap it around. This is gonna take you into an infinity symbol, a figure eight motion through the shoulder, and is a really nice way to incorporate stretching throughout the entire body. So. Do your best with this one. You might need to watch it back a couple of times, feel the movement, and you can either alternate sides or keep the teacup going on the same side for a few reps before switching.
Now we're gonna take it into back scratchers. So you're gonna be nice and tall through the spine, stacking through the pelvis, heart, and head. While maintaining that stacked spine, place one hand at the back of the neck and the other hand at the low back. The arm that's reaching up will be an external rotation and the arm that's reaching down will be an internal rotation. And we're gonna look away from the externally rotated arm and shoulder. As the shoulders and neck continue to open with this movement, begin to reach more through each elbow. This is gonna create a little bit more stretch through the tricep and make this more of a complete stretch through the shoulders and lats. We're gonna take that same reach through the elbows and apply it to the elbow drivers. So we're simply alternating elbow circles, driving the elbows over the face and then down across the torso. And this is gonna facilitate a little rotation through the T-spine and integrate a lot of that movement through the shoulders with our torso. Stay stacked through the spine and grounded in your center so you can continue to open up rotation and more movement through the shoulders. We're gonna take a few moments here to shake things out and stretch into the body. Now, this is a stretch I like to use often, and that is opening up the mouth, sticking out the tongue, opening up the throat, and opening up the hands, and then squeezing the hands, bringing the head down, and squeezing the face as if I just tasted something super sour. So really wanna open up the face. It's kinda of like we're initiating a yawn but also incorporating the entire body. Feel into it. It's time to paint the fence. So you're going to flex through the wrists on the inhale and drive the back of your wrists up to the sky. On the exhale, you're going to switch that, extend through the wrist, drive the heel of the hand down. And this can be a small brush stroke if you haven't gotten it by now, your hands are the brushes. So feel into that rhythm, that flow, that fluidity through the wrists. And remember, this movement is coming through your center. So we can really focus on the hands, but we want to integrate that with this connection into the torso, into that main limb of the body, continuously stacking the hips, the heart, and the head. Now time for some standing core work with the cross crawl march. You're going to drive the opposite elbow to opposite knee on the exhale, and then stand tall with your eyes on the horizon. Exhale and crunch, inhale as you stand tall, and really focus on driving through the grounded leg. This will establish balance and a nice platform for you to flex through the other hip and get the most out of this standing core exercise. And one thing I really enjoy about this is it's one that we use a lot. Uh, a lot of core exercises are great, but this one really applies to so much of what we do in terms of walking or any sort of standing activity. Well, as my sweatpants are getting all wet from the ocean, we're gonna do one more exercise with the chi push. So on your exhale, act as if you're pushing energy away from the body, and on the inhale, pulling that energy back into the body. And you can do this in whatever direction you'd like. And you've been moving for 20 minutes, cultivating a lot of energy, a lot of awareness in the body. Apply that to this. Imagine that you're pushing and pulling a heavy object. Maybe it's something specific. Use your imagination and get into it.
Thanks for spending the last 20 minutes moving with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Stay smooth.